Hey drone technology fans, Bill here. DJI Mavic 2, Precision Landing 2.0 confirmed. We'll have that coming right up. During my first flight, I had to take manual control of the Mavic 2 Pro as it was going to hit my garage roof before I was able to successfully land it on my driveway. And I followed that up with a video, uh, DJI's response to a question that I posed to them regarding precision landing. And they said that this is something that they would consider for a future firmware update. Well, today I got some fantastic news. One of my followers on Twitter, Jason Diaz, copied me in on a tweet that he had with DJI support. So I'm gonna put that up on the screen right now. This is from Jason Diaz, called it. Confirm Precision Landing 2.0 coming to Mavic 2 in future firmware update. And I'm going to read you, uh, apparently these are direct message tweets from DJI Support and Jason. Jason to DJI Support. I guess they're working on Precision Landing 2.0. Since Mavic 2 has more sensors than the Mavic Air, which does have Precision Landing 1.0 with IR sensors and no ultrasonic sensors. Looking forward to the firmware update. Thanks for the response. DJI support to Jason. Hi Jason, we've just received the latest news from the R&D department. After considering, we will add the precision landing to Mavic 2 in future firmware update. Please wait patiently. And then another response from DJI support to Jason. Hi Jason, that is correct. Please note the future firmware update. And then my response to Jason and DJI support. This is great news. Thank you Jason Diaz and DJI support. That is fantastic news and that's a very very wonderful response from DJI support. So kudos to DJI for recognizing that uh, this, was, this was something that was of concern to a number of people. And that's one of the things that I wanted to address right now. I did receive a lot of comments on the, those videos regarding that. And one of the things that I wanted to address, while for seasoned pilots and for veterans like myself and like a lot of you out there, this is a non-issue. This is something, I mean, we're all used to flying uh, our aircraft back home and pretty much landing it on the landing pad or wherever we took off from manually. That's not an issue. But for quite a few people, it is. And I'd like to talk about that for a second here. I have three points I'd like to make regarding precision landing. The first one is, this is ideal for brand new pilots, people who have not had any experience flying a drone before, this is absolutely ideal and this is a wonderful fail safe for them to fall back on. The second point regarding this is this is also ideal for handicapped pilots as well. Now I do have a number of subscribers who are handicapped and they've actually commented and I appreciate their comments greatly and it does make a difference for them where the drone lands. And I would say the last set is, uh, it's also based upon other circumstances. It could be the terrain that you're in at that point in time. It could be the climate. It could be where you live and you may not have enough room. Uh, a whole host of factors could come into this consideration. It is a concern for some of us and I'm real glad that DJI has, has acknowledged that and that they're going to do something about that. I think that's fantastic, especially since, you know, they put the wonderful landing lights on, which I got to experience last night. I didn't film anything, but I was able to experience that last night and it is very bright and it is, it's absolutely wonderful if you're flying at dust. So that's great. If you like the content from today's video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and tell others about the channel. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook page where I do post daily updates regarding the drone and drone industry and anything DJI, Autel, or Parrot related. Also, be sure to check out my Twitter account where I do post daily updates and Instagram as well. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly.